Hi, Schwannard, Ashman72 here. Um, when I think of Star Trek episodes with strong secular humanist themes, the episode that jumps to my mind quickest is an episode of The Next Generation called Devil's Due. Uh, in this episode, the Enterprise is summoned uh, via distress call to the planet Ventax 2. Now, um, Ventaxian culture, uh, sorry, Ventaxian legends uh, state that about a thousand years ago, the people sold their planet and the souls of their descendants to a being named Ardra. Uh, in return for this, Ardra would plant, Ar Ardra promised them a thousand years of peace and prosperity in exchange for taking possession of, uh, of the planet and the souls of the inhabitants at the end of the thousand years. Uh, and sure enough, Ventex too had a fairly idyllic culture, but within the past few years, the people had, be had become more and more nervous as uh, their millennium approached. And uh, with the due date uh, being only a few days away, the people became increasingly panicked, and this is why the Enterprise had been summoned. Uh, sure enough, um, after the Enterprise arrived, Ardra appeared at the appointed time, and the planet's leader immediately surrendered to her. Uh, she demonstrated a number of abilities to a very skeptical Picard, uh, including uh, teleportation, apparent shape-shifting into, um, into the devil, and a spirit from Klingon theology called Feklar, and she also could cause tremors with the blink of an eye. Picard is unconvinced by all of this, and his skepticism is further bolstered by Ardra's, or should I say, Ardra's apparent influence, uh, apparent interest in the planet's wealth. Um, now, a highly evolved being would could conceivably be interested in getting his or her ego stroked. I mean, take a look at how Q acts every time he shows up. But, <laughs> but, um, but Ardra's interests um, are are demonstrably baser. And this leads Picard to think that she's nothing more than a, as he puts it, a flim-flam artist preying upon uh, cultural fears. Uh, and of course, he is determined to expose her. And his determination grows when Data discovers that, according to the terms of the deal, it is possible to interpret it in such a way that uh, Ardra also has possession of everything in orbit around the planet, including the Enterprise. Oh, and uh, did I mention that Ardra can appear on the Enterprise in spite of all efforts to keep her off? I'll stop here. Um, it's possible to watch the episode on YouTube, and I've provided the links in the sidebar. Um, there, 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 ah, you'll see it. Um, <laughs> um, and I highly recommend uh, that everyone watch it, if you haven't already. Uh, it features Picard being even more awesome than usual, and um, a fairly stellar turn by, Mar du by Marta Dubois as Ardra, and, of course, a very strong secular humanist themes. Uh, there's one other thing I should note, because it is a little subtle, and I think it needs uh, to be... Uh, it, and I think it should be pointed out. Um, the lead Federation scientist on Ventex 2 is named Dr. Clark, and I don't think it's a coincidence that the... Uh, that Clark's Law, you know, the one about um, magic and uh, sufficiently advanced technology, as coined by Arthur C. Clarke, is uh, fully explore explored in this episode. Well, okay, that's, uh, that's it for me for now. Uh, thanks for your time. Um, I hope this answers your question. Have a good night. Bye.